Hello friends, this is Shobha from CNS and I'm honored to have with me today Dr. Erlina Burhan, Head of TB Dots and, and MDRTB at Parsahabad Hospital, Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, she is also member board of directors at the International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease or the Union. Arlina is also Indonesia country director at ATS Nikor, the American Thoracic Society, methods of epidemiologic, clinical, and operations research. Welcome, Arlina. Thank this you, Shauba. This conversation is being live streamed on CNS social media. Uh, Arlina, just now you said you, you are coming right from uh, a workshop on MDR TB. Uh, yes. Uh, why is it important to empty the pool of latent TB if we want to end tuberculosis by 2030? We want to end all types of drug sensitive as, a, as well as drug resistant TB. So, well, I think as a practitioner, we are very suffering right now. Mm -hmm. Suffering of treating drug resistant TB. So we have to prevent patient TB patient from drug resistant. Okay. Mm. It will help us a lot if we can prevent MDR by treating a problem with uh, drug uh, susceptible TB, then we have to also try to prevent LTB to become active TB by treating LTBI mm -hmm. as a prevention treatment. So I would, if my country, Indonesia, would like to have this TB elimination in 2030, we cannot just working at the end but we have to move from the beginning and the beginning of it is to find latin tb and to treat them we all mean such a contact investigation or by screening at the community or screening at the high high risk group so uh, what uh, test and treatment in Indonesia? Well, Indonesia is an endemic country, right? We rank third hmm. after India hmm. and China. So we, we have a lot of active TB patients. So uh, the incident is around 845,000 per year, meaning there are a lot of contacts. So there are estimation that uh, 85 million of population is already being infected by TB. Have to target the uh, 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 let's say key population or high, high risk group such as. Uh, children and wife mm. and also uh, HIV uh, individual or HIV people. Mm -hmm. So yes, the government right now uh, prioritizing or targeting that those two groups, even though as a clinician, I would say that we need to extend more than only those two groups, mm -hmm. but also other risks group that need to be tar targeted to be screened and to be treated. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so what test is being used to diagnose latent TB in Indonesia and what treatment is being offered to the target groups which you have mentioned? Okay. The national tool is uh, tuberculin test or MANTU test. Hmm. But uh, recently, there is a problem of uh, availability of 
that uh, diagnostic test mm. or the test. We we have a problem in uh, assessing uh, the Reagan mm. or the kids. So now we are we we are having uh, quantiferon okay. or IGRA mm. IGRA test. But the problem with IGRA is that the cost is uh, very mm. expensive. So in the in the government program, which test is used? IGRA is being used now in public health. Uh, no, in public health, we're still using a uh, mantu okay. test or tuber okay. tuber skin mm -hmm. test. But yet, I mm -hmm. think they are uh, discussing of um, using IGRA in the future if the company can uh, reduce uh, the cost for the public use. Okay. okay, so cost is one factor actually, even for yeah. for the diagnosis as well as treatment. And what treatment is being offered to uh, for latent TB? Oh, there is a isoniazid for six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. as a prevention therapy okay. that offered by the government for free. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there is also uh, under registration a new drug, mm -hmm. 3HP, mm -hmm. that will be available later in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. But we do not know the price. Okay, okay. Uh, doctor, are there any side effects of latent TB treatment also? Side effects, but is there side effects for latent TB treatment? So far, there is uh, no significant side effect being uh, reported. Okay. Since, is, since there is only single drug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so we have no problem with that. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, do you find uh, a connect between uh, TB infection and uh, tobacco use in Indonesia, and also a connect between tuberculosis and other no and non-communicable diseases? Well, smoking is a really a big problem in Indonesia. Hmm. Almost seventy percent of male adult male are smokers. Hmm which is really, really bad. The uh, cigarette industry here is very, very strong. <clears throat> and I don't think uh, the government uh, have a rule over them. Hmm. It always being said that they give a, a high tax for the government, hmm. but I don't believe that. I mean, uh, comparing the the disease that can be uh, result by smoking mm -hmm. is even a uh, high cost than uh, the tax that we are getting mm -hmm. and we believe that uh, all the smoke can uh, reduce the uh, capability of immune response mm -hmm. uh, respiratory mm -hmm. defense mechanism especially mm -hmm. that um, this smoke can uh, uh, impair the cilia, mucociliary system. Mm. So yes, there is a, the uh, correlation or association between uh, smoking habit and the TB infection, for sure. Okay, so are many of your TB patients, uh, have, have they been smokers as well? Or yes, of course. Mm -hmm. They only stop after they got uh, diagnosed as TB, mm -hmm. even though not 100%, okay. they are still mm -hmm. uh, okay. and uh, keep smoking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and, uh, maybe we are very weak TB? in education. So they need to be told there needs to be more awareness, and people need to know more about this connect between tobacco and TB. Indeed, yes, exactly. And I think this task is not only the job or the task of the health staff, mm. but it should be uh, the role of everyone. Mm. Mm. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and what about uh, TB diabetes? Do you find your 
TB patients or the people with diabetes more prone to? Yes, I have a data in my hospital. Thirty hmm. percent of our drug resistant TB are diabetic patient also. Hmm. Drug resistant TB. Uh, Just imagine. Yes, hmm. and it's around twenty to thirty percent among drug uh, sensitive TB are also diabetes. Hmm. Hmm. So, so yes. According to the theory that uh, diabetic uh, person are prone maybe uh, for time uh, to get disease, mm. uh, TB disease, mm. compared to non-diabetic. Yeah. Oh, perhaps it is because it is affecting their immune system and it is making them... Exactly, yeah. And also mm. with this endemic country, you can catch the transmission very easily. Mm. Mm. Yes. Uh, as the same goes for cancer patients, does it? Uh, do yes, yes. Seventy mm. percent mm. of uh, our lung cancer are smokers mm. or previously smokers. Mm. Mm -hmm. And TB also, is it like you have? It does cancer make you more prone to TB? Or uh, I think so. Mm. Uh, we did this uh, research in my hospital. Hmm. Among those lung cancer who underwent uh, chemotherapy, we found hmm. around 15% 15 of them uh, positive SLTBI okay. uh, revealed by IGRA positive. Okay, okay, which, which, which is a big number. Yes, yes. Yeah. There's still a lot of stigma in TB patients, uh, particularly when, and which pre is preventing them to access public health facilities. You must be having a private sector, uh, health sector also in Indonesia. Yes. In India, we have yes. a private sector. So, uh, Unfortunately, TB still uh, bear this a very strong st stigma in the community. Hmm. Yeah, people even uh, try not to come to the health center when they are having coughing hmm. and when we ask why hmm. because they are, do not want to be known as TB patient hmm. 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 and even if they even if they do already being diagnosed as TB hmm. they try to um, uh, let's say uh, they try to hide from others even from the family okay because hmm. yeah because they want to be stigmatized first mm. second if they are working they do not want to be fired because in some uh, office or in some factory mm. the workers mm. uh, uh, getting fired because they diagnose STB patient okay so do they prefer going to a private hospital is it is that one reason maybe are they going more to the private hospital and maybe getting a wrong treatment there. Fifty percent of our uh, TB hmm. patient uh, goes to private hmm. sector, but then since the private se sector is uh, high cost, hmm. after being diagnosed, they then seek for the uh, free treatment in, okay. at the uh, government hmm. facilities. Hmm. 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 Okay. Uh, so what what can be done more, uh, Arlena, to address this stigma, which is actually preventing them from seeking treatment on time, and so they are spreading TB all along that period when when they are themselves infected. What what needs to be done according to you? We have to educate mm. all level of population, not only the patient, but the family, mm. the peer group. Mm -hmm. uh, those uh, maybe important person uh, we have to educate them that TB is transmitted but can be cured if you get treatment mm -hmm. so do you see the role of counselors or uh, counselors can help there uh, there are some education but uh, mm -hmm. being done uh, sporadically but, mm -hmm. but I'm, I think mm -hmm. it should be done massively that's right. And intensively, hmm. massively, intensively, not only during the World <laughs> TB Day, that hmm. everyone talk about TB. Hmm. But no, this is a everyone business 
and it should be done every day. Mm -hmm. uh, so you uh, do you have counselors? Is there some role of counselors, or are there appointed counselors, or no, no, no such uh, program as uh, I've just wanted to know. Uh, well, actually, uh, there. Uh, uh, NGO, hmm. Stop TB Partnership Indonesia, mm -hmm. are trying to get this counselor for TB. Okay. And also they are trying to engage the parliament member. Mm. So they they are now in uh, the process of having this caucus TB okay. mm. in the parliament, which is really good. Okay. Okay. So that means at the political level, because that is where the policy is made and more involvement of uh, yeah. the policy makers. Yeah, the problem with this country is that TB is only being concerned by uh, medical authority mm. or medical staff or uh, uh, Ministry of Health. Mm. Actually, it should be the concern of others mm. like a local government, mm. social department, mm. uh, insurance company, etc. So, I mean, TB should be everyone business, not only uh, health staff. This is, this is the wrongdoing, I think, we are doing. Right. That TB is only the concern of a medical society. This is really wrong. Yes. Not right at I all. Agree. TB, yeah, you agree, yeah? I agree totally with you. <laughs> because yeah. there are so many social enablers of TB. Um, nutrition yeah, yeah. and uh, sanitation, infection controls. There's so many things which go. I, I exactly. Agree. There are patients who cannot uh, afford to come to the facility because they do not have money. So, section need to be there. Right. Social department need to work to do something for this kind of situation. Right, right. Uh, Arlena, what about... You know, the, when yes. you... There is a... A friend of mine mm. uh, talking TB to, to let's say, uh, some kind of parliament, and they say, Oh, do we still have TB in Indonesia? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't even know that Let TB it, exists yeah. in Indonesia. Right. In fact, we are mm. ranked third in yes, the whole the world. world. Huh, huh. And, and yeah. Yeah, these, these, these are our policy so This really pissed me off. Right. You're very right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there TB, what about uh, treatment of TB patients in correctional facilities, like in prisons, is there a lot of TB and is that being taken care of? I, I do not know. Yeah, there is, there is clinic mm. in uh, prison, in the correction oh. facility. Mm. But you know, uh, I also have a drug resistant TB in the prison. Mm. But the problem is, mm. when they got relief, mm. they go to the community, they do not continue okay. the treatment. Okay. So I I even uh, suggest to mm. the authority, oh please sentence them uh, until the end of the treatment. Okay. Of course, this is not right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but because I'm frustrated. Yes, yes, because yeah. they are lost to follow up. Then that you, they are just lost. Yeah. Mm. And then they uh, remain as a source of of infection to others. Yes, 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 yes. And we do not have a capability to trash them because they can uh, go hmm. anywhere you know yes. they are prisoners hmm. 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 yeah hmm. Hmm. Uh, you have been working with the childhood the children also how serious i'm a uh, uh, adult uh, well i'm a, a clinician for adult tb hmm. but i'm also okay. helping uh, uh, childhood TB uh, program. Hmm. So, let's talk about the um, coverage. Hmm. I mentioned to you before that the um, uh, coverage of uh, uh, PT uh, TB prevention uh, therapy, mm -hmm. yeah, for mm -hmm. children under five mm -hmm. is very low. It's only uh, thirteen. to increase the coverage of uh, uh, this uh, TB prevention therapy among mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. And also the, the 
the activity of contact investigation are not in place properly. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, also, uh, okay, that latent TB problem is there. But are there many children with uh, active TB also uh, and with MPR yes, 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 and with yes. Drug resistant TB? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we seen uh, new of drug resistant TB patient mm -hmm. among children mm -hmm. at least one every month. At least one every month. Just imagine yeah. then in, that in, in, in one hospital, only. yes, huh, in one yeah. hospital, yes, yes, in one yeah. hospital only. Uh, there is a, <clears throat> a nine months of patient, hmm. uh, a baby patient, only nine uh, months of old. Oh my God. And is, has there been TB in the family, in the, the child's family or no? Other, some, the, the grandpa died. Okay, grandfather, and now it is this child. Yeah. Just, just imagine nine month old child. Yeah, yeah. So more more contact tracing needs to be done, and uh, exactly. Arlena, do you feel? Uh, what about uh, women TB patients? Does uh, are they more inclined to not seek uh, TB treatment, or are or what is or is there any difference between how TB impacts women and men? Or in well, I think uh, we found more male TB patient in the facility mm -hmm. simply because uh, they are more mobile mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the their access is better okay. than female. Yeah, mm -hmm. so female tend to stay at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also um, people still think that coughing is every day. Mm -hmm. They only think it is a serious if the uh, sputum uh, mm -hmm. mixed with blood, then they're uh, okay. afraid. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But if just coughing, they said, oh, it's nothing, it's only coughing. Coughing is common thing. Mm -hmm. So that's the other thing that we need to educate people that coughing is not correct. Normal people, they, they do not coughing. Mm -hmm. So again, that awareness, as you were saying earlier, that awareness yes. is important. Yes. And, and are you doing, uh, in Indonesia, is DST being done upfront, like first time a uh, patient comes for diagnosis? Oh, of now we, we do expert. Huh. You are using uh, expert everywhere. Yeah, hmm. we have nine already being installed. All so right. yeah, hmm. so it's good. Uh, but hmm. I think it's better if uh, we have more point of care. Yeah, maybe a uh, uh, hmm. more handy expert that can okay. be yeah, carried over to. Uh, uh, village to village, yes. maybe that's even better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also means that will test for rifampicin resistance only. So um, yes, what do you so suggest? yes? Uh, expert is like a screening for us now. Hmm. Now yeah, so hmm. it's not only to to find uh, drug resistant TB as before, hmm. but also for the presumptive TB. Hmm. So all presumptive TB mm -hmm. should be uh, proceed with expert examination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, if we found MTB detected but still sensitive, then we treat as a regular TB. But if we found rifampicin resistant, then mm -hmm. we start a drug resistant regimen with shorter regimen mm -hmm. while waiting for the uh, help call result but yes there is a limitation of labor laboratory who can do LPA LPA first line and huh. second line yes, yes. right uh, long for the TV. Yes. any any other type yes so anything I, else you would like to share I only want to say that our president should know about 
the most TB in Indonesia because if president say treat TB, find TB everywhere, then it happened. Right now, the TB policy up until the level of Ministry of Health. But I think it should be brought up to the level of president. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Friends, we were listening to... My pleasure. Yeah, we yeah. were listening to Dr. Erlina Burhan, who is head of TB Dots and MDRTB at Persahabatan Hospital in Jakarta. Thank you very much, Erlina. You're welcome, Sambal. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.